This time on Survivor, the Vision Research Phantom Flex 2K faces off against the Sony FS700. Both cameras will be put through a series of rigorous image quality assessment tests. Only one can be the shootout survivor. First, their overall color reproduction will be assessed using a collection of vivid foods. The second scene will be used to observe the attributes of skin tone reproduction, aliasing, and noise. The third will be used to experiment with the ease of VFX using a green screen. The fourth will demonstrate the reproduction capabilities of the cameras in high dynamic range scenes. Finally, the last attribute will be a showcase of one of the most compelling attributes of the cameras, their ability to film at high frame rates. In the color grading process, both cameras will be corrected to a neutral 18% gray. Grading both cameras to their native neutrals was very simple. The Phantom camera was chosen as the Hero camera because it had a more desirable reproduction of color in its native Rec. 709. Correcting the Sony was done using a gray card in each scene. The scenes whites, blacks, and grays were matched using the waveforms and resolve as well as visually. Again, note that the Phantom was used as the hero camera in this situation. The Sony footage was graded analytically and artistically to match the Phantom content. Observe the vibrancy of the reds in the Sony's reproduction of the scene. The tomato and red pepper look more accurate to the scene's color. However, the yellows and greens are represented better by the flex color, adding a vibrancy that does not exist in the FS700. This means that the scene reproduction of the Sony could differ based on the colorist. The FS700 Rec. 709 is dull and washed out in comparison to the saturated colors of the S-Log2 profile. When comparing S-Log2 to the Flex, the S-Log2 is more vibrant and accurate to the real-life scene content. The FS700 S-Log2 beats the Phantom Flex Rec. 709 color reproduction. The noisiness of the Sony is due to a flawed 709 picture profile in the camera. This could be eliminated through the use of a different picture profile such as S-Log2, which has noticeably better noise. When shooting S-Log2, applying the S-Log2 to Rec. 709 lookup table in DaVinci Resolve and color correcting the footage to neutral, the Sony outperforms the flex. Due to the Phantom having the desired Rec. 709 color of the two cameras, this was used as the hero camera in the grading of the rest of the footage. The scene was graded analytically using a gray card and waveforms to closely match the neutrals in the Sony to those of the native Phantom footage. This produced perceived clipping in the skin tone highlights where none existed in the waveform. However, with more time and more subjective grading, the Sony FS700 may be comparable to the Phantom Flex. The aliasing in the varying high frequency patterns of the shirts is extreme in the Sony footage and can be viewed in all of the shirts in the scene. Aliasing is significantly less visible in the Phantom footage and can only really be seen in the shirt on the left. The noise of the Sony proved difficult in allowing for a clean composite. As a simple composite, the shots were adjusted minimally for ghosting and spill. The Phantom required little manipulation of the alpha mat to eliminate the ghosting of the actor. When the same manipulations were made to the Sony, it made little difference. Therefore, some ghosting can still be seen in the shirt of the actor, where the ferns and stream can be seen. The HDR scene represents a range of 13 stops. The scene was designed with detailed objects and actors resting in the overexposed foreground and underexposed background 
with a range of stops in between. The bars of the cage create a high frequency pattern, exemplifying the resolving power of the camera at high frequencies. This further proves that the Sony produces worse aliasing than the Flex. After color grading, it is obvious that the Sony performs better in the underexposed shadow region of the image. The zebra stripes on the stuffed animal can be discerned, as well as the color of its purple wing. The Phantom outperforms the Sony in the highlight region of the image. Small details can be detected on the table. For example, the green of the notebook and the depth of color in the drink are much more visible. It is important to note that the footage was not color corrected, and there was no attempt to aesthetically match the clips, as this would falsely represent the exposure latitude of the camera. A hazy glow appears near the table in the phantom footage, which is due to the added optics of the neutral density filter. This creates a red flare known as a double image. When the scene was underexposed by one stop, you can start to make out the bagel in the highlight region of the phantom footage. The Sony performed better in the shadows, revealing the jacket, which is not replicated by the Phantom. When the scene was underexposed by two stops, both the actor and stuffed animal are still visible with the FS700, but are barely distinguishable with the Phantom Flex. There is more detail visible in the highlights in the Phantom footage, as you can see by looking at the entire bagel on the table. That same region is clipped in the Sony footage. Quantitative analysis of a gray card indicated that the Phantom was less noisy at 240 frames per second, though they appear aesthetically similar. High frame rate cameras are often used for objects moving at a faster rate than normal. The camera's identical shutter angle of 180 degrees allows for a comparison of the reproduction of fluid motion between the two cameras at higher frame rates. By taking a still of the motion in the footage, you can assess that there is less motion blur with the Phantom when compared to the FS700. Let's go tally the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. I just really like Deathlog too. You were just too noisy for me. I just don't even know. My compositing was way easier with the Phantom. High frame rate Sony just doesn't compare. The camera voted out will be asked to leave the cage immediately. Sony FS700, leave your lenses behind. The Phantom Flex wins the Survivor Shootout. First place. Yay. Yay.